Imagine waking up at 5 a.m. in your sunset years to go and exercise your civic duty. Well, that is the story of 87-year-old Clementina Namunyemba, who has voted since Kenya got her independence with the hope that a new leadership in Kabuchai will change her fortunes. Clementina walked three kilometers from her home to the nearest polling station in Kabuchai to cast her ballot. Mashirima Kapombe reports. She leans on her walking stick as she takes one step after the other. Despite her frail disposition, Clementina made her way to Sikusi Primary School in the company of her son to vote in the Kabuchai parliamentary by-election. <laughs> That translates to a three-kilometer trek from her home to the polling station. <laughs> the distance did not discourage her from participating in the by-election in the midst of a pandemic. <laughs> Water and soap at the polling station instilled her confidence that no matter how vulnerable she may be, here it was safe. Lengo lake kwenda huko alitaka ati ajichakulie mtu ambaye atamsimamia kuendeleza maendeleo kwa miaka inyako nayo hapa duniani. Clementina says elections have been important to her since Kenya attained independence. Kwa wana kusha kupika zamani ya kinyata. Na kutia kuotu. Yeye ame piga kura tangu enzi za mzee jomo kenyata. Her need for development is what drives her to the polling station. Over the years, power has changed hands in Kabuchai, with little having changed in her surrounding. Her living conditions speak volume, a picture of poverty. Her only hope is that this time, her choice will emerge victorious and the change she desires will trickle down to her and the people of Kabuchai. Mashirima, Kapombe, Citizen TV.